Hi everybody, this is Dr. Hassan Lawati. Today I'll be talking about CRH stimulation test. Now this test is used to differentiate between Cushing disease and ectopic ACTH and adrenal tumors. Now you start investigating the patient by doing dexamethasone suppression test. And if the patient failed this test, then you will gonna think about Cushing syndrome. Now, once you diagnose Cushing syndrome, then you need to localize the lesion. You should ask yourself, is it in the pituitary or adrenal or ectopic? Now, in order to differentiate between those two, you will send the ACTH level. Now, if ACTH level is undetectable, so that's an adrenal tumor, if it is detectable, then you will be confused between whether you are dealing with Cushing disease or ectopic ACTH. Usually, the ACTH level in ectopic is very high, but still, in both situations, in Cushing's disease and ectopic ACTH, in both conditions, you can have high ACTH. Now, in order to differentiate between those two conditions, you go ahead with what we call CRH stimulation test. In CRH stimulation test, you inject the patient with 100 microgram of CRH and then you measure the ACTH and cortisol level basally and then at 60 minutes. Now in ectopic ACTH and adrenal tumors, there is no response. But in Cushing disease, you will have an increase in ACTH and cortisol level above basal at 60 minutes. However, 10% of patients may fail to respond. But if you combine high-dose dexamethasone suppression test and CRH test, the specificity and sensitivity to diagnose Cushing disease is about 100%. If you have any comment below, please write them below. Thank you.